Hello, and welcome back to Game Domain. Pokemon Sword and Shield were released last November, and as we all know, there was some controversy that came along with the game's launch. This controversy all stemmed from the fact that the game would only have a grand total of 400 Pokemon available, only bringing along a little over a third of the previously existing Pokemon. This did make it a lot easier to complete the Pokedex, as overall you needed less than half of all created Pokemon in order to complete the Galar Pokedex. And all this talk about the Pokedex got us thinking, what do you actually get for completing the Pokedex in each game? Do you get an important item, cool Pokemon, or is it just a congratulations? Well, every single game is different, and we're going to go through each of the main series Pokemon titles and see what you get for completing the Pokedex. Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Yellow. These original Pokemon titles, and their special Pikachu Edition counterpart, have the series catchphrase on the cover, gotta catch them all. But what do you actually get for completing the Pokedex? All you need to do is catch the 150 Kanto Pokemon, excluding Mew, and you'll receive a diploma from the Game Freak headquarters. Yes, that's right, just a diploma. You can print this diploma with the Game Boy printer, but let's be honest, nobody really has that. Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Pokemon Crystal. Completing the Pokedex by catching all 249 Pokemon in these Generation 2 titles, excluding Mew and Celebi, gets you another diploma! Yeah, still very underwhelming for completing arguably the most difficult task in each Pokemon game. Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. In the original two Generation 3 titles, you needed to catch the 200 Pokemon in the Hone Pokedex to get your first reward. By doing this, you get yet another diploma. Yeah, another one. And if you weren't already tired of pointless diplomas, then just wait, because we have another one for you. In order to obtain all 386 Pokemon to register them into your national Pokedex, you will need to own both Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, Pokemon Emerald and the GameCube's Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Having all of these games will allow you to obtain all 386 Pokemon in existence, excluding the mythical Pokemon Mew, Celebi, Jirashi, and Deoxys. If you go through all this work, all that you receive is another diploma. Yep, countless hours of gameplay and stress in seven different generations, three titles, and all you'll get is a diploma. Wow. Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green. For completing both the Kanto and National Pokedex, all you get is <laughs> another diploma! Yes! From 1998 to 2004, you only ever get a useless piece of paper that means nothing for completing one of the series' hardest recurring tasks, but that would all change the following year. Pokemon Emerald The third version of the original Hone titles actually offers the best prize yet for completing the Pokedex. After completing the Hoenn Pokedex, Professor Birch will give you the choice of one of three Johto starters. This is certainly a pretty cool prize. Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Pearl, and Pokemon Platinum. Pokemon Emerald finally gave us a reward to be proud of, something to truly look forward to and motivate us to complete the Pokedex. But in the next generation, that number 386 would expand to 493, leaving us with an even harder task to complete the Pokedex. So the reward should be grander than the one from Emerald, right? Maybe like all three Johto starters, or maybe one starter from each previous generation. But no, it's even better. After obtaining all 493 Pokemon, excluding Mythicals, you receive... Drumroll, please. Another diploma! Yes, how awesome is this? Not only one diploma, but two. One for completing the Sinnoh Pokedex, and one for completing the National Pokedex. Wow! Thanks Game Freak for this awesome reward. Pokemon Black and Pokemon White The fifth generation brought the total number of Pokemon to 649, making it even more difficult than it already was to complete the Pokedex. And what do you get for completing the Innova Dex? Well, a wonderful diploma, of course. But the National Dex is so much harder, right? So there's got to be a better reward. What is it? Wait, a another diploma? Wow, what even is the point of doing this anymore? Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. For some reason, it took Game Freak until the end of Generation 5 to finally realize they should probably reward the player for completing this nearly impossible task. 
So far, every game but Emerald has just given you useless diplomas. But that would all change with the prequels to Black and White, Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. Seeing all of the Pokemon in the Innova decks will grant the player a permit that allows them to reach the Nature Preserve. This permit is perhaps the coolest reward yet, as it allows you to catch a shiny Haxorus upon arriving at the preserve. Guaranteed shinies are hard to come by, and this is a very pleasant reward for seeing every Pokemon in the Innova Dex. But wait, there's more! Catching every Pokemon in the Innova Dex will grant you the Oval Charm, which increases the rate of eggs produced by your Pokemon at the daycare, and completing the National Pokedex gives you a Shiny Charm, which increases the chances of encountering shiny Pokemon in the wild. Oh, and by the way, you also get diplomas for completing these tasks as well, just in case you missed them. Thanks Game Freak for finally giving us rewards that actually make us want to complete the Pokedex. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. The rewards for completing the Pokedex in X and Y are similar, but not as good as that from Black 2 and White 2. Seeing all the Pokemon in the Kalos Pokedex will grant you with the Oval Charm and a diploma. The National Pokedex was now expanded to 721 Pokemon and you receive a shiny charm and another prestigious diploma! Pokemon Omega Ruby and Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Unlike the original Ruby and Sapphire, these Generation 6 remakes give you real rewards other than the diploma, but these rewards are the same as X and Y, an oval charm for seeing all of the Pokemon in the Hone Pokedex, and a shiny charm for completing the National Pokedex. Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Gen 7 brought you a little bit of an easier Pokedex completion task, perhaps the easiest since the Generation 2 days. In Sun and Moon and their sequels, all you have to do is register the 300 Pokemon in the Alola Pokedex, and you receive the Shiny Charm and a special stamp on your passport. This generation brought the Grand Pokemon count to 809, but made it a lot easier to complete the Pokedex and get this Shiny Charm and it would only get easier in the next title. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The Generation 7 Let's Go games brought the number back down to where it started, 151 Pokemon. This is perhaps the easiest Pokedex completion task in the entire series, as there were once again only 151 Pokemon to catch. It did have version exclusives, but was still so much easier than the original Red and Blue due to today's online availability. You can find someone on Reddit or Discord who has a Pokemon you need, and you can trade it over in a matter of minutes. Completing the Pokedex by obtaining 150 of the 153 Pokemon available in the game, excluding Mew, Meltan, and Melmetal, will grant you the Shiny Charm, making it so much easier to obtain some of the wonderful Shiny Pokemon that Kanto has to offer. Get yourselves a Shiny Charizard, okay? Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield The Generation 8 Galarian titles Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield restricted the Pokedex, yet again bringing a whole lot of controversy with it. Reusing 3D models for all returning Pokemon, this game's Pokedex entailed 400 Pokemon. Obtaining all 400 of these Pokemon will give you yet another Shiny Charm, which has now become one of the series' most frequently sought after items. Hopefully, we get a cool reward for the Gen 4 remakes coming in 2021. I mean, they are the next games. Right, Game Freak? You guys could just confirm it now instead of making us wait. Ah, the Pokedex of every game is filled with so many unique creatures that we have all come to love. I mean, there's so many Pokemon out there, and so many Pokemon fans, that every single Pokemon is somebody's favorite. Just think, your least favorite Pokemon is the one that somebody else calls their favorite. Yeah, we know what you're thinking. Garbodor is somebody's favorite Pokemon? Emeractus is somebody's favorite Pokemon? Yes, that's right. That is a Pokemon. I mean, let's be real, if Maractus wasn't included in Sword and Shield, you would have continued to have forgotten about it completely. It was literally only available in one location in Innova, the Desert Resort, with a 10% chance of appearing, but yet is probably somebody's favorite. And that is why Pokemon is great. We can all hate each other's favorites! But, with all joking aside, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Tell us about what you thought of today's video down in the comment section below. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave a like on today's video, as well as check out some of the other recent uploads. Make sure you also check out the links in the description, as there you'll find the link to our Patreon and to join our Discord. Join our Discord to connect with our staff here at the channel, as well as participate in the great Domain Legion content we have going on there. 
Our Discord is open to all gaming fans, as we now have over 400 plus fans of the channel and gamers talking about what we love to do every single day. So come on and join to participate in this great community. We'd once again like to thank you guys for all of your incredible support, and thanks for watching today's video. We'll see you next time!